Have you ever seen those animal cruelty videos on YouTube where they're showing poor innocent animals that are endangered and that need help? Well, one man has tapped into that YouTube community, specifically the bird loving community, and is exploiting birds and scamming these bird lovers. Find out who this guy is and the scams that he's been running straight after this intro. Than that of us making a difference globally. So essentially, Bird Tamers did run out of the funds and to rescue this cockatiel, and we had to ask oh, help. God, will you shut the fuck up? Why can you have just left me there to die? Give me your fucking rope, I'll hang myself! Here I go, I'll hang myself. Why am I in the kitchen today? Because today, I'm gonna be telling you how to get your bird to eat healthier foods. God damn it, what the f did you put in this bird seed? Laugh in the fast lane, we play our cards. Pray and we'll find out just who we are. Bitch, I've been a king. What up, everyone? It's your boy, Martin Lewis. It's your boy, Martin Lewis. Martin Lewis. What up everyone, it's your boy Martin Lewis, Team Real, welcome to my channel where I call out fake ass bitch and talk about YouTube drama. And today we're going to be talking about a YouTuber who goes by the handle of Parrot Whisperer. So basically he's been exposed for scamming his audience pretending to rescue birds when really he hasn't been. That same topic, and it is how to become successful. And I'm going to be showing you his secret on how he has become successful through exploiting birds and using the Loving Bird YouTube community. Anyway guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest drama regarding this guy or any YouTube drama. I have another big favor to ask you. Last time I asked you guys for 100 com no, 1,000 comments and 1,000 likes. We reached that goal and I really appreciate it. I think it did help me, but I'm not certain. I'm not sure I only it only boosts that video because it was so popular or because it was a hot topic at the time all because of the likes that you guys gave me. So I'm gonna ask you again for this video because I know this guy's not well known and if this just happens to boost up, then it's definitely because of the likes and the comments. So if you could please comment under this video around 1,000 comments and 1,000 likes again. So please help me out with that, I will really appreciate it. And if you have any story or leads, all my social media links are in the description below. So let's Get straight into the drama. So for you guys who have no idea who this guy is, don't worry, I got your back. I'm going to be explaining him in 50 seconds. So the Parrot Whisperer, whose real name is Hani Halal, is a YouTuber with over 80,000 subscribers. He got his fame from videos on birds, taming birds. He also has a company called Bird Adamus. I don't know how to pronounce that. I really don't know how to pronounce that. He sells ebooks, workshops on how to train your bird. Free promotion! He's also been recognized on social media as the Parrot Whisperer. He's either 19 or in his 20s and lives in Canada. He's been on YouTube for five years and I actually seen his one of his videos before. I don't know why I did. I think I must have been looking up something about birds, but I did come across his video. So it's quite funny that, oh my god, I'm actually talking about this guy because I never ever thought in my life I would ever talk about. You know, if anything, I never t thought I'd be talking about the bird-loving community in my life. So, you know, a new dimension. So recently he's been exposed for plagiarism and pretending to have experts on his team who he does not have. And exposed for scamming his audience, honestly. This guy is a professional con man. <laughs> he basically has these call to action videos on his YouTube channel asking for help. Titles like Bird Lovers, we need your help. You won't believe this. This makes me so angry. She bit me. 
Why do people do this? In one video, right, he pretends to go to someone's house to rescue a bird. <laughs> Roll it. Hi, may I just take a picture of the bird? I'm just gonna take a picture of the bird. No, you can't. I just wanna see it, okay? Get out of my house, you bad bitch. Now guys, that was actually my voice I added in for comedy effect. No one responded to him when they said that. Hmm, gee, I wonder why. He's actually at his own place, or maybe his friend's place, or maybe a place he stays. I can't really confirm that. But he's at a place pretending to be at someone's house rescuing a bird. Now, obviously, in this video, he gives a long explanation. A lot of, it's crazy. Seriously, go watch it later. You will see that this man lies throughout the whole, like, it's done deliberately and purposely to con his audience. Now the first sign is you can't hear Your anyone bird. calling. Because, um, yeah? Yeah, just give me two minutes. Hi, may I just take a picture of the bird? I'm just gonna take a picture of the bird. I just wanna see it, okay? Now I'm sure he has an excuse for it. How come I didn't hear the voice of the woman? Well, what happened is that when I went outside to film it and she called me, yeah? Yeah, just give me two minutes. But let's go further in the video and I'm going to prove to you it's at his place. Roll it. Anyway, in another video, he shows the basement of that house where he actually works. <laughs> Boom, the first thing is the sound of the stairs. Sounds very familiar to the stairs in the other video. Not only that, look at the cemented ground, okay? And there's some type of gray paint on the floor. Same broken paint under the bird box. If you look at the ceiling, it's wood. It's the same type of ceiling he has when you see him walking down the stairs. Oh, and did you catch the picture on the wall? Yep, it's the same picture on the other video. So yes, this is his house. <laughs> <laughs> and what's sad is that he put this bird in a dirty box with sh** and left it in his basement while he went upstairs to film. Yeah. That guy clearly cares about his birds, right? <laughs> now the next video, he got a little bit more professional, adding sad music. Sad story to it. Lightning effects. I will make sure to get it a bigger cage, better bird supplies, more toys. You're not taking care of it. No, this is my bear. What amazing acting skills. Please, it needs to be checked. Look at its plumage. It looks very bad. I will get it toys. I'll get it a much, much bigger cage. Please. No, no, no. My bear, my bear. Now, I'm sure a lot of gullible people out there or people that idolize this man will make excuses and say, like, oh, people normally talk like that, you know. Or they may say, oh, he was just reacting the scenario. No, he wasn't. He confirmed yeah. that in another video. And as you saw in the beginning of this video, he refused. After so much negotiation, he still refused. And not only that, the ceiling, that is no Lebanon grocery store ceiling. And as I was visiting a grocery store here in Lebanon, I happened to hear a cockatiel to my family and told them that I'm going to speak to the store owner. And I rushed to speak to the store owner and told him, hey. Now we're going to go to the video that really got him in trouble that people, well, one person started to notice what was going on and decided to expose him. And I'm going to go into detail and break down the techniques he's used to scam his audience. Let's get into it. By email. 
and he asked us to call him for an urgent situation. My name is Blur. I've been a fan of your channel for the past four years. There's a very bad situation of Pineapple Konya that is being mistreated. She is kept in a fish tank all night with her food, millet spray and some water. I do not know what to do and I tried contacting the owner saying that what she is doing is wrong. But she did not reply to me. Urgent. I basically go and see the ad on Kijiji and I wish she hadn't deleted it because I would have linked it in this video. Oh wow, what a coincidence. She deleted the post. But she posted that ad. I contacted her and I basically went to visit her. And oh my god, I wish, I just wish I hadn't went to visit. Oh my god. I know, he looks so shocked. He's such a brave man. Fish tank. I don't even know the size, but I have a picture of the fish tank that I took. It's over here. He actually took that photo from Google. <laughs> what he did was Photoshop a bird, and because it would have looked so fake, it would have you would have been obvious that he photoshopped it. He blurred it out to make it look like, oh, there's a real bird in there. No problem showing dirty bird feed and all that other stuff and the bird in the caca box, but you would blur this bird out? Really? This is a misleading tactic, a tactic to really play on your emotions. So you're like, wow, this is, this is shocking. Like, this is bad. Like, look at the picture. And basically, she kept that conure in this fish tank with millet spray, a small container of food, a small container of water, and that's it. That's literally it. No toys? Well, where will the toys fit? No way to, for the birds to spread wings? No way for the bird to fly? No mental or physical stimulation? And apparently she said her excuse was that she keeps her bird outside all the time. This is not an excuse. Your bird and look, he contacted the cops, guys, and everything. Look what they told him. They said, look, if you want the bird, you pay her for the bird and you leave. Don't interfere with her personal life. Maybe there are some lazy cops out there that would probably do that, but I really doubt it. Mm -mm. Asked her for her price, she said $500. I made her an offer of $300 and I said, that's it, this is what we will give. He already told you as well, that he brought down the price and it only cost him 300 instead of 500 so already you're like damn he really did pull it down we should really act it just makes you make that decision like a lot of salespeople do it they go oh it used to be this much now it's this much and it makes you feel like oh i don't want to be a loser like it's so cheap that's a bargain but in, in this case it's like well, damn, he pulled down the price. I'd definitely jump on, better jump on this and pay that money and help him. The next tactic he uses is a tactic where he puts you in a sense of, I forgot the word for it, but it's a sales tactic too. It's basically, this is the time frame, and if you don't pay it, you miss out. But in this case, is this is the time frame, and if you don't pay it, the bird goes back to the horrible owner putting her in a fish tank. And I asked the cops if I can keep the bird for one week provided that we raise the funds of $300. And we came to an agreement that she will allow me to keep the bird because the bird's state, the bird's standard of living is not right. So at least for this week, I can keep the bird in a proper standard of living. Hmm, so the cops told you not to interfere with her life, but you could take the bird to your house for a week. Interesting, and she was just going to freely give you the bird. Okay. This has a saving account that is allocated to all the birds that we rescue. Right now we have the vet bills necessary, we have the vet budget, we have the spacious cage budget, we have a budget for the toys, we have a budget for the food, but we just need the money to actually rescue this bird. And I'm He's got everything else covered, guys. He's got a good home for it, toys, he just needs that little bit of money, just, just that little bit of money that you can donate. In that PayPal account, so we have $200 left to raise. 
and I'm such a superhero that I put my own money into my own charitable company, $100. So we only need 200. Imagine just how much money this guy has actually raised and not told you. And as a you know, non-profit company or whatever, since allegedly, according to him, there are people volunteering to work, he has to show proof. I'm pretty sure he has to show proof of where his money is going annually. Could be wrong, so let me know in the comment section below, but I believe you have to. The next tactic I he shows is like touch and feel. It's like, here's the bird, let's rescue it. She's relatively tamed. And I just wanted you to show her, please guys, please bird lovers, help us change the life of this pineapple conure. Help us give this pineapple conure a second life, a life she truly deserves. She needs your help. She needs our community. Shut the fuck up! Why can you just left me there to die? So here is where it gets really interesting. An Instagrammer by the name of Parrot Whisperer Truth. They end up exposing him on a lot of other things. So allegedly, the bird that was in the fish container got handed to him in a Tupperware container. Yeah, interesting. And allegedly, that's his kitchen bench, but I don't know for sure. I don't know for certain. That's what I heard, but it is the same bird that was on his hand. Anyway, Parrot Whisper Truth said... So, honey, if you admit what you did and vow never to do this again, we'll delete this account. It has to be a proper admission. None of your lies, none. We won't do it if we think you're trying to get out of it and get people to support you. You need to admit how you've harmed the community. Then we'll let the community decide if they will forgive you. Now, allegedly, he went live and apologized. I'm not too sure. I have not seen it myself. It has been deleted by him. But after the live stream, he went back to the picture on Instagram and said, Hi, it's Hanny. I explained everything live to everyone. I'm extremely sorry. I've explained that the photo is photoshopped, but what happened was real. Bird was kept on a fish tank and was transferred to my hands in Tupperware. Bird tamers deleted all the photos of their camera of the birds in a fish tank as they didn't want to get in trouble with the woman and the police. Please, delete this Instagram profile as you promised. Now, he ended up sending messages to people. I'm not sure if this was through Patreon or Instagram, but he ended up sending... Dear bird lovers, Parrot Whisper here. So YouTube deleted my video of me apologizing and saying the truth and removed the video and I think it's very important for me to explain exactly what happened to everyone. See here, Parrot Whisperer's Truth. He took a screenshot of Bird Tameness Inc, which is Honey's, um, one of his Instagram accounts linked to his business or whatever. Now if you type this in, so if we go do that now. Enter. Video was removed by the user, which proved he lied. It wasn't YouTube that chose to remove it. It was him. The video of me rescuing the Kanye from a fish tank was true, and the Kanye was indeed kept in a fish tank. I took photos of the situation using bird tameness camera, but they deleted all the photos before I knew, and they instead used an image and photoshopped it. The police told us to blur all the images. Really? I'm extremely, extremely sorry that the image was photoshopped. I feel horrible being involved in this and I'm extremely sorry. The bird was actually transferred from the fish tank to me in a Tupperware. And I took a picture and immediately removed her from the Tupperware. This picture is the only picture I had I took with my phone and it is absolutely are doing everything they can to ruin my reputation. I just want to make sure it's clear. I apologize for why Bird Tamers got me involved in the photoshopping of the picture. I shouldn't have been involved at all with that video and the picture should have not been photoshopped. It should have been a clear, concise picture of what exactly happened and that's it. If there were no picture which was the case because Bird Tameness deleted them, the video shouldn't have been posted. I'm terribly sorry for being involved in this and I feel horrible for being a part of something that was photoshopped. 
It's all him. He's trying to find someone to blame. Immediately removed the bird from there. The photo I took was with my phone, so bird tameness was not aware I took this photo and still aren't. They deleted the photos of the bird in the fish tank because lady wouldn't let us take photos and the police told us to blur all images. I'm extremely sorry for being involved in this. I love my birds to death. I promise to never be involved in everything, anything like this again and I promise to do everything in my hands to raise awareness for animals and rescue every mistreated, neglected, abandoned or abused bird and give them a second chance in life. This is what I stand for, breathe for and wake up for every single day. I'm extremely sorry once again for letting you guys down and it was a very honest mistake. Please report Instagram truth as they are lying, sabotaging my name and messaging all our followers. It's extremely sad how far a hater can go to do such evil things. I feel horrible and couldn't sleep all night thinking about what to do. I hope you understand me and believe in me and I'm extremely sorry once again. They're doing everything in their hands to ruin my reputation and they have done so much already. Bird Tameness inbox and Instagram is flooding with messages calling me a liar a prick, telling me I should kill myself, calling me fat, telling me I deserve to die. I feel horrible and I couldn't sleep a single wink at night. I had a panic attack. I'm very sorry about all this drama. I really don't like negativity in my life and don't want to put this out there, but I think it's very important that I clarify everything and make it crystal clear. If you want to clarify everything, see if you really cared and want to make it crystal clear, he will make a video addressing everything. He would have not taken that live stream down. Now what he's trying to do is shift the blame onto his own company with his imaginary staff that he has. He doesn't want to take any responsibility because you got to realize he got a pretty good reputation online. So what's the next thing you should do? You should shift the blame onto someone else so you can get away scot-free. And that's what he's trying to do. He doesn't want to get in trouble for this because this, what he's doing is a crime. It's a huge freaking crime. And since we are on the subject of staff and workers or volunteers or whatever, if he does have a charity and a animal shelter, he should be able to provide the address and the contact number. I bet you any money he can't provide that because he doesn't have one. We right now opened a new rescue shelter here in Windsor, Ontario, where we're rescuing birds, parrots, and other animals such as dogs, cats, hamsters, and other rodents. He also posted this on Facebook and his Instagram. I'm done explaining myself. If you want to think I'm lying, go ahead. I poured my tears and sweat into creating the, the hashtag one bird training community. A community where I share my knowledge about birds and parrots. A community where we rescue and rehome every mistreated, neglected, abandoned and abused bird we come across. A community where we speak for the voiceless and be the voice for those who cannot speak for themselves. I took a vow that I will stand by the birds forever until the day I die and I will stick to this no matter what. I realize that those people are pathetic and all they want is a big following and attention. This is a very common tactic that a lot of YouTubers that do have a good following, a good fan base or somewhat of a reputation online. They like to say, oh, everyone's doing this just to get a following. That's my fallacy for today. See, because I'm so super famous, he's not, but you know, oh, everyone's doing this to get big, no. And let's be a little bit logical here. If Parrot Whisper Truth was doing this to get clout, don't you think they'll be putting their real face there? Like, how are they gonna get clout when there's not even a person behind them? Come on, not even a damn logo, nothing, nothing business-wise. Like, who knows, maybe later on they might start calling out people that mistreat birds, you know, because they like, I don't know, they like helping birds. That might be the case. But I honestly think they're doing this because they're sick of the community getting 
manipulated, used, and they probably put their own money into this as well, and that they appreciated being scammed. So there's no point of giving them that attention and showing them my, any interest. They're using every excuse they have and turning it against me. I'm done with all this. They are using everything I post and turning it against me, thus I'm not going to be posting or explaining myself anymore. If you need a clarification or explanation, message me privately on bird tameness. Instagram A, I'll be happy to talk about it in detail and show you all the proof I have. There's no point of giving those pathetic people a chance. That's exactly what they want. God sees them and knows what they are doing. Oh, please. Now you want to use God. God sees everything and no yeah, God sees everything, bitch, including you scratching your ass. God sees everything and knows I haven't done wrong. I don't hold any grudges for those people and don't hate them. I know they are a group of little people trying to be big out there. Peace and love. Now let's see some of the comments that these people left on his Facebook. You didn't do anything wrong and you do not need anyone to judge you except God. God already knows you are honest and know how much you love birds. I love you and I appreciate you and respect you. Thank you for all the help with the cockatiel. Jacob, Jacob, I believe in you, honey, and I support everything you do. Do not let a few crazy people bother you. Just keep doing the wonderful work you do. Don't let the haters discourage you. What they think of you is none of your business. You know your path is true. Intention for good. Just stay on it. Instead, look to the peeps who believe in you. Why are you explaining everything we know who you are and standing by? You, I don't care what people say or do continue with good work. See, a lot of people are invested in him because I do believe the training system that he is selling have helped people. But he used a lot of misleading tactics to sell his products. Mixing real reviews with fake ones. I'm going to show you that right now. So this is his website. It's real, not fake. It's his website. Let's go down to this area right here, okay? Don't listen to us, listen to a few of the success stories of bird owners, each with their own unique needs. So I'm going to give you this one for an example, this picture. I put it right into Google and you can find the original article posted back in 2016. There's a lot of articles here talking about this lady, Polly Wanna Home, Delco Woman on Parrot Rescue Mission. I told BT Secret Bird System in October and I was really struggling to tame my Macau. Really? She was struggling? She like rescued it, bro. He would bite a lot until he drew blood and it was a lot. I really did not want to give up on my bird. Okay, now, let's go to the next guy. I'm going to save his image. Okay, so that might be legit. That might actually be a legit one there. This guy, in my opinion, is a con artist in the YouTube bird loving community. I've also reached out to this guy as well, and honestly, I've, I'm still curious to hear his side and what excuses he will come up with, but he's been caught. You've been lying, perceiving your fans. What do you think, guys? Definitely comment me below and let me know what you think about this scam. And have you ever been involved in a similar scam like this? Share your story in the comment section below. And look, if you're fans of this guy, look, I understand a lot of you guys are probably going to get really pissed with me straight away, dislike me, because I'm calling out someone you love, but you need to open your eyes. Don't look on how I say it. Look at the message in the video. Look at the facts. Look at the receipts. This guy is bullshitting you and scamming you and needs to be stopped. Anyway guys, I know I'm your guilty pleasure, so make sure you hit the subscribe button with the bell, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in another drama video.